As you can tell, we need to mow. But I gotta service the mower. It got a big wad of old uh, string line wrapped around it and the blades needed sharpened anyway. Then of course it rained this morning. So now I gotta let it dry out, which will hopefully give me time to get to that. It's supposed to be hot and humid today. Uh, Want to show you a little something though. There's plenty of people out there that talk about how you gotta use uh, hardware cloth like this for your chicken pens. And there's plenty of people who talk about how you should use staples from a staple gun because it's faster and easier. Well, this is why I'm going to show you why I don't get super hung up on whether or not I'm using hail screen or chicken wire. You see that? That pen had a hen and three chicks in it. And what the deal was is our short-haired pup got out of the corral the other day and killed a duckling and ate it. So we immediately chained her up, put her in timeout for the rest of the day and night. Usually we chain them up at night anyway, and then we turn them off when we're around home during the day. The thing that didn't occur to us was that the chain we had put her on was the chain that our black dog is normally on. And that chain was within reach of this pen. So that pup decided to get bored and decided to go on a little killing spree. So as you can see, I mean these pups probably weigh I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60, 70 pounds. Hail screen is not going to save your animals from a large predator. Even if you were to take weather stripping and put wood over top of that and sandwich it in between, because the way the wire is constructed, it will fail. As you can see, those poultry netting staples that I hammer in by hand, those didn't fail. Those are still there. The wire itself failed. Needless to say, this pup we have decided between this and several other instances, she just has too much prey drive to be trusted here. And the worst part about it is she knows enough to know to behave when we are out here. But the minute our back's turned is when she pulls stuff like this. So we are going to find her a new home where she can be the type of dog that she wants to be. And she doesn't have to uh, succumb to the temptation of her prey drive and her desire to hunt. That's the gamble you take when you have crossbred dogs. The other dog will stay here um, and we'll continue working with her. But we're gonna find a good pet home for the short haired dog. Uh, basically, we've lost this hen, three chicks probably half a dozen other chicks, three other hens and a duck all over the course of this year. And 90% of the time, I would say that she was the instigator. Uh, so yeah, it's just smarter to get her to a better home that suits her better. So. Other than that, on a more positive note, I am getting some progress made with the shed here.
and I'm gonna try and work on that more this weekend because I'm in the process of moving the oldest groups of incubator hatch chicks to the different compartments as I go and what I'd like to do is to come in and make the uh, center dividers this weekend so that the chicks can have more room and then we'll just have to lock them into the part that has a wire top at night until we get the roof on the shed but basically the dividers going down through the center of the shed are going to mimic the dividers that go down through here so it's going to be 10 every 10 feet there's going to be a divider it's going to have tin along the bottom the only difference is is i'm thinking that i might put the doors down through the center of the pens i haven't quite decided on that yet but i'm gonna have to make up my mind i might put them along this way here the only problem is we've got this old hydrant here and i really want to keep it in here because I'd like to make it to where it is a um, where it is a um, functioning watering system for this building but I don't know what all I'm gonna have to do to get that working again so anyhow that's all for today thanks for watching